Hello, and welcome to the Neurology Channel, the place where we simplify complex neurological topics for you. Today, we're discussing something that might be prescribed to you or a loved one, pyridostigmine, also known as mestinon, as the brand name. This video is tailored for patients, so let's dive in and understand what pyridostigmine is and how it can help. Pyridostigmine or mestinon is a medication that can make a significant difference in the lives of individuals dealing with certain neurological conditions. It's a bit of a tongue twister, so we'll just call it mestinon from now on. But what does mestinon do, and why might your doctor prescribe it? Let's find out together. Mestinon is like a communication booster for your nerves and muscles. You see, our bodies use a special messenger called acetylcholine to transmit signals between nerves and muscles. In some conditions, this communication gets weak, causing muscle weakness and fatigue. Mestinon steps in to help keep those lines of communication strong and clear. The role of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter, which is like a messenger chemical in your body. Think of it as the language that nerves use to speak to muscles. When a nerve wants a muscle to contract or move, it releases acetylcholine at the junction between the nerve and the muscle. Acetylcholine then binds to receptors on the muscle, triggering the muscle to contract. Normal communication. In a healthy individual, this communication process happens smoothly. The nerve releases acetylcholine. It binds to the muscle receptor, and the muscle responds with a contraction. This is how we move, blink, smile, and perform any muscular action, whether it's big or small. Communication breakdown. However, in some neurological conditions, such as myasthenia gravis, Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, LEMS, or other neuromuscular disorders, the communication between nerves and muscles becomes disrupted. In myasthenia gravis, for example, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the receptors for acetylcholine on the muscles. This results in fewer available receptors for acetylcholine to bind to, making the communication between nerves and muscles weak. Mestinon's role. This is where mestinon, or pyridostigmine, comes into play. It is classified as a cholinesterase inhibitor. What this means is that it helps to inhibit or slow down the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine in the synaptic gap, the space between the nerve and the muscle. By doing so, mestinon ensures that acetylcholine sticks around in the synaptic gap for a longer time, increasing the chances of it binding to the remaining available receptors on the muscle. This extended presence of acetylcholine enhances the communication between nerves and muscles, making muscle contractions stronger and more effective. Symptom improvement. As a result of this improved communication, individuals with conditions like myasthenia gravis experience reduced muscle weakness and fatigue. They regain better control over their muscles, allowing them to perform daily tasks with more ease and less exhaustion. In essence, mestinon acts as a support system for the body's natural communication process between nerves and muscles, ensuring that this essential interaction remains robust and efficient, despite the challenges posed by certain neurological conditions. Your doctor might prescribe mestinon if you have one of these conditions. Myasthenia gravis. This is a condition where your muscles get tired quickly. Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, LAMS. It's another condition that causes muscle weakness. Mestinon can help manage the symptoms of these conditions. Taking mestinon is easy. Your doctor will decide the right dose for you. You'll usually take it as a pill or a syrup. Just follow their instructions closely and don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Like any medication, mestinon can have some side effects, but most people don't experience them. The common ones include upset stomach. Some folks may feel a little queasy. Diarrhea. It can happen, but your doctor can help you manage it. Saliva increase. You might notice your mouth getting a bit watery. Before starting mestinon, it's crucial to let your doctor know about all the other medications you're taking and any medical conditions you have. Some medicines or conditions might interact with mestinon, so it's important to be transparent with your healthcare team. In conclusion, Mestinon can be a game changer for those dealing with specific neurological conditions. It helps your nerves and muscles communicate better, improving your quality of life. If your doctor prescribes Mestinon, remember to follow their guidance and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any concerns or questions. Thank you for joining us today on the Neurology Channel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more patient-friendly insights into neurological topics. If you have any specific questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the future, 
feel free to leave a comment below. Take care, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.